In this video, I'm going to share with you how to use Microsoft Whiteboard during your calls or during your lessons, live lessons, where you give the pupils the opportunity to collaborate uh, on a whiteboard. So the first thing that you would need to do is to arrange or to schedule your lesson either by using the schedule a meeting option or by by activating and starting your lesson uh, through the meet now function. Now, as you can see within this uh, team, I've scheduled a meeting. Uh, if you schedule any meetings within your teams, please ensure uh, that you go to uh, the meeting details and the meeting options and to activate the lobby function, which ensures that the pupils cannot join the lesson or join the call before you. So after doing this, uh, click on to the meeting uh, and join the lesson itself. So after joining your call or your lesson uh, and your pupils have joined, you can now share a whiteboard uh, during your uh, during the lesson itself. Now to do this, you would need to click on the share content button. Uh, this window uh, would appear and you'd click on Microsoft Whiteboard, which would then open up a collaborative whiteboard um, which will be pushed out for all the pupils within the call uh, to access. Now being a collaborative uh, whiteboard you as the teacher you can actually uh, post comments right on the page but also the pupils would be able to do this. So as you can see the, the tools up on the top here, these will be available for both teachers and the pupils, uh, which allows the user to add a te text boxes, uh, post-it notes, or uh, use the, the pens here uh, in order to write on the page. Now, if I click on this cog here, I can uh, tick and untick this option here. So if it's unticked, that means that only I, as the organizer, can edit and add uh, text boxes or I can write on the actual page. However, being a collaborative whiteboard, I want that to be ticked, uh, which will allow all the pupils that have joined the lesson to write on the page itself. So like I mentioned, in order to write on the page, what they would do, need to do, what the pupils would need to do is to either click on the text box and start typing uh, in the text box itself. Uh, you can change uh, the color of the text here. Uh, they can click on the post-it notes uh, where again, they can start typing their messages or the suggestions um, and a useful tip here with the post-it notes, you can color coordinate them. So if you are looking to differentiate or group uh, your pupils, you can ask them to uh, add different colored post-it notes. Uh, and again, um, finally, they could use the, the pen functions here in order to write on the page. Um, so the Whiteboard can act like a traditional whiteboard that you would use in, in your classroom. Uh, it can be used at the start of a lesson where you're trying to activate prior knowledge. You could use it as uh, an area to post ideas, suggestions for uh, certain tasks that you're completing. Or it could be used during a plenary where you're asking the pupils to feedback on what they've learned uh, during the lesson itself. But if I look on this pan and zoom option here, I can, if I just add a few post-it notes here, and if I just change the color, if I click on this pan and zoom, I can zoom out of the page here. So as you can see, there's plenty of space available for the pupils to add uh, their comments, uh, their suggestions, their questions uh, on this whiteboard. Finally, 
Before we close this whiteboard, it's vitally important that you t take a, a snapshot of this work and share it with your pupils. So at the end of the lesson, or potentially at the, uh, after doing the introduction at the start, uh, if you click on this cog here and click export image as a PNG, that then will download, take a screenshot of that whiteboard, download it onto your device, and you then would be able to upload it uh, onto your team, and the pupils then would be able to use it uh, for certain tasks, or you as the teacher would be able to refer back to it um, when looking at evaluating your project or your work. So if I just minimize this page and I go to files, if I click upload, upload files, but this is the page that I want to upload. That then will upload the uh, the whiteboard that we've just created and it'll upload it as an image. And then that then can be used for the pupils uh, to refer back to uh, you as a teacher to use again during um, uh, doing uh, the review session of the lesson, or you could potentially use it uh, uh, within your assignments uh, within your team. One last thing to share with you, if I quickly go back to the call, uh, by clicking on stop presenting, that obviously unshares the, the whiteboard. Uh, and it'll take you back to this window here where you will be able to see uh, the pupils that have joined your lesson. Um, however, you can, if I click share content, you can go back to that whiteboard uh, and then you can continue to work uh, with that interactive and collaborative whiteboard with the pupils. Um, finally, one thing just to note, uh, unfortunately, when you record your lessons through Microsoft Teams, any work or any collaboration within and on the whiteboard uh, will unfortunately not be recorded. So just be mindful of that that won't be recorded. So it is important to export uh, the whiteboard that you've created with your pupils and then to upload that within your Teams environment.